How's it going today? And today I just wanted to do a quick and very dirty tutorial on how to create an animation loop with a Mixamo character and also how to give that looping animation to animate the character in a way that looks like he's actually walking and going forward. And I'm sure there's other ways to do this. This is just a quick and very easy way to do it. If you happen to know another way, you can please leave a comment. So you come into the Mixamo site and you just type in walking, pick your character and there's one there and you just double click it and it pops up here. And then you can adjust the speed and all that here. And um, okay, so we're just gonna leave it at the, the total 53 frames like that. And then just make sure you click in place and you download your character. Now for this tutorial, I'm actually in Lightwave 2019 and it is possible to upgrade to it right now, I think at a, at a good price, so I would go ahead and do that. The other thing I would do is I would go ahead and download these animations that you want for now maybe like walking, jumping, running, dying, ones that you might use for a video game or something so that I don't know how long this is all gonna be free, but for right now it is free, so I would go ahead and just download these and archive these, and these can be used for any commercial purpose. The only thing you can't do with them is like redistribute them. So I would go ahead and get these while you can, because who knows what's gonna happen with them. Now in uh, Lightwave, one of the great things they've done in here is they've added this bridge Previously, I used to have problems downloading FBX animation and files and things never quite worked right. So far, this seems to work really, really well. So you, you just go into the interchange here, you go to read file and you click that and you can find your file here. So you click file, you find your file and then you go, okay. It loads up here on this side as a remote asset. And then you just click this button here and it loads in. Now it's gonna come in as a T pose. So you come down here in the lower left and he hit zero and then that should be our loop so let's see how how he does there see he see how it just goes a little bit it doesn't really loop so what we're going to do to take care of that is we're going to go into the graph editor i'm sure there's a million ways to do this but this is just the way that i'm doing it for right now and you'll double click here where it says skeleton mixamo rig and then you just come up here to where it says selection and you go select all curves and bins and see how it selects everything. And with your scroll wheel, you can kind of zoom in a little bit. And here up here, you can kind of reposition yourself. You can hit A too, but then you might want to look, zoom in a little bit more than that. This is kind of a weird one because it's real stretchy and it depends which way you pull it. But um, anyway, we want to come over here and we just want to come right up here, right on the other side of that white line and we don't want to select these keyframes. We just want to select the, the one from the line to the right. So we'll just click on the other side of the line up a little high, right click and click and drag and make a loop and select all those keyframes. And then what you do is you press control on your keyboard and you hit, you right click and it copies it. And then you got to move this up and be on one of the lines for it to paste and it should paste in it. And then you just keep doing cutting and pasting. So hit control, right click. There's another one. Oops, see, and I didn't move my cursor up. And then it pastes. And then I'll just do one more here. Control, right click, paste. And then you can come back to selection and go reset bin selection. And then there is your animation. Now what you gotta do here is you've got to drag your frame here to the very last frame which would be right there I believe and if we just hit minimize this and we hit play we should have our looping animation which is really cool now the only other thing that you got to do is you've got to come over here to items and you got to go to null and you can type in controller and go okay it creates, make sure you're on the first keyframe there, the zero. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the skeleton Mixamo rig. You're gonna hit M on the keyboard and you're gonna parent that to the controller. So you just gotta scroll down here and go to controller and you close that. And then you gotta go back to the controller and I'm just gonna make a I'm just gonna make a short little animation here. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm on the control. I'm just gonna pull him back a little bit on the Z axis, like that. And then I'm gonna hit play. Oh wait, I'm gonna drag this all the way to the end. And then I'm gonna drag him, hopefully, on the Z axis forward, like that. 
Oh, uh, maybe to there. To there, okay. And then I'll hit play. Now he might be doing a little bit of a Michael Jackson uh, moonwalk thingy here. See how he... <laughs> It looks like he's on one of those traveling ramps or whatever. So what you got to do with that is you've just got to play with the speed over here. Let's uh, make sure we're on our in frame here and let's try negative. Uh, let's try negative eight and see what that does. I haven't played with these to see him, but you'll see you'll eventually get his feet to match. He's still got a lot of slide there. Uh, is it getting worse if I speed it up? I, I can't think straight right now. Okay, let's see. Negative 10, does that make it worse? Let's see. Yeah, it's making it worse. So we gotta we gotta slow him down. So go back here. So let's try negative. So you just play around with it. It's it's not the it's not that big a deal to get it right. Still a little bit of slide I see. I know there's another way to adjust that. So let's try negative three. Let's see if that does it. And then you would just increase, you know, the loop for the distance that he wants to walk. You'd go back in the graph editor. It's a little, it's still going on there. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to come down. Looks like I have him going over too far distance. It's negative one. Let's try that. So I would have to increase the, just a little bit there. I see just a little bit of slip there. So I'm going to guess, I'm going to try it one last time, and I'm just going to say, what if it was zero all along? Let's see if that's going to do it. That looks pretty good there. You don't, I see, just maybe a little tiny bit still. Gosh, okay, so I'm going to, where was I at? I guess just one, maybe? Is it one? Okay, I bet this has got to be, this has got to be it. He's got to walk some distance without slipping. Okay, that looks good. And that's our, and that's how you would do it. Now, I, and if I wanted to make him walk a longer distance, I would just go into the, back into the graph uh, editor here. And remember, I click here on this. And I would just add more. I would, I could actually just copy and paste this whole thing. I could even do it right now. Let's just do it right now. Okay, just to show you. So we'd come in here to select. Select all curves and bin. I'm gonna right click. Oh wait, how come it didn't? Oh, it's gonna it's gonna select one side. Do it, so watch. I'm gonna click here, and I'm just gonna click and drag and select the whole thing. All right, and then I'm gonna hit control and right click with the mouse on my mouse and let it go. And that's, that's one frame away. Now see, I'd have to drag out my in frame thing here too. So drag it out to the end right there. Who knows what he's going to do now. <laughs> so we'll go uh, reset bin. Let's watch play and see. He's probably going to stop there and just go in place, right? So now let me do this. I'm going to go here to the 107th frame keyframe. I'm just going to delete that. We'll start again from the beginning. I'll, he's already been in the back position. So I'm going to pull him. He should be able to walk almost double the distance, right? So maybe to like right about there. And now let's hit play and see what we get. I'm just looking at his feet. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. And so hopefully you get the idea of what you need to do. If you happen to know of another way to do this, please feel free to share. This is collaboration and you can help me and I can help you. I don't want to sound like Team Lightwave, <laughs> but I do feel like we should be helping each other so that this program shows what it's capable of doing, which we already know what it's capable of doing, some really great animation and 3D CGI work. So I'm uh, totally sold on this program. Anyway, thanks a lot. Take care and have a great day.